Hello everyone, welcome back. Jerky Jones here. So I know it's been a while since I've done a van video. Um, the van was out of commission for a little bit, um, but I'll get to that. So anyways, if you take a look, I got my bed, I got the cushions, I got some curtains up, if you can see on both sides, adds a little privacy. I put this thing here on the roof, makes it look cool, makes it look 70s rocker hippie van type style. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna talk about the van a little. I actually ended up staying in it for a week when I went to my buddy's house down south. Um, it was quite the experience, so let's talk about it. Okay, so yeah, so I stayed in the van for a week. Um, it was fun, it was a lot of fun, but uh, there were some good things and bad things. So a couple of the bad things were, one, it's freaking small, it's tight, you know, I'm big, I'm six foot five, uh, I have to bend over all the time. Even when I'm sitting on the bed, I have to like hunch over. So that was probably the most difficult aspect of the week I spent in the van. Um, just lack of room, lack of height room. Um, just was a pain, but it was it's whatever. It's not the end of the world. If you need to stretch out, you just sit here or you just get out of the van. The second thing that really sucked was it was summer and it was hot. It was so friggin' hot. Um, even with the windows open and stuff, man, I couldn't sleep for a couple of nights very well. It was sweltering. So I need to get a roof vent. I need, I need to get something for those hot days. Um, luckily now summer's pretty much over. We're heading into fall, so shouldn't be that bad, but when winter comes, I'm gonna have to get a heater. So, that's all, something, something to work on. Um, some of the good things were one, like I said, it's a lot of fun, right? It's fun cooking your food, you have the back open. I have a little table that I set up outside and I put my stove on. Um, another really fun thing was when it rains, it's actually nice and cool in the van, but when it's raining at night, you get the best sleeps. I swear, it's so cozy and comfy and comfortable. Um, so that was really nice. Um, a third bad thing was uh, my dog likes to sleep on the bed with me. And even when it was fully extended, she takes up so much room and I find I'm stuck in the corner and. I just, I have a hard time like kicking her off, you know, I got to let her sleep up there with me, so. But yeah, if you want to come and take a look inside, uh, I moved my shelf or my countertop to the side there. Um, the seat backs up and it sits perfectly when I'm sitting in there, when it's against the thing. Um, Something I plan on doing is I have this sink that my dad gave me. It's a little rough right now. I'm going to clean it up, obviously, but I'm going to make some stands for it. And I want to install it about here and have a sink, you know, and make a little shelf cabinet thing. So that's a project for the future. One thing, actually, so, you know, the van has been great. I love driving it, but it was out of commission for a little while because I was heading up to my parents' house. I was about 10 minutes out of town and the brake caliper on the passenger side got stuck. And I was driving and I noticed it was shaking and pulling to the right big time. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what's going on? And I got out, I called my dad. He knows a lot about vehicles and he's like, touch it, is it hot? And it was really hot and it, it smelled like brake. And he's like, oh, your caliper's stuck or your, or your rotor or something like that, your caliper, right? So I have CAA, right? And if you don't know what CAA is, it's a program you pay a hundred bucks and you get a bunch of free toes or whatever, you know, for the year. Um, so I called them 
and they were like, oh, well, uh, yeah, we can come and tow you, but you have to find your own way back into town. The thing is, I was far enough out of town, it would have been a $60 cab ride. So I was like, well, I was like, screw that. So I just, I just drove it. I just said, fuck it and drove it home. And as I was driving, it just stopped. The, the caliper released and it was back to normal. It stopped, uh, you know, pulling and shaking and that smell went away, the brake smell. So, so I ended up parking it for a while and I was afraid to drive it because I was like, well, I don't want that to happen again. And I was going to call a mechanic and get it fixed. And I just, I never got around to it. So for the whole month, it just sat here. <clears throat> um, so for the whole month, it just sat here. So the other day I said, you know what? I'm just going to take it for a cruise, whatever. So I took it out for a drive and it drove fine. The brake hasn't stopped, like got stuck again. I am going to try to fix it here soon, but whatever, we'll, we'll get around to it. One more thing. One other thing that sucks that just happened today is my friggin' windshield wiper broke off because it was raining the other day when I was driving it and I left the windshield wipers on and today when I got in and started it up, it went and broke. I was like, no. So I have to fix that. Yeah, so overall, you know, I still love it. Um, I can't wait to keep working on it. It's still a work in progress, you know, no rush. So I had a really good time when I was in Kitchener, um, visiting my buddy, you know. I didn't take any videos when I was down there because I was doing a lot of LSD and I was drinking a lot of beers and stuff and I just didn't really feel like making a video at the time. But um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun camping in this thing. It's cool. Um, if you ever thought about buying a van to live in or camp in, I say do it. Like, it's fun. And one other story, I took it out the other day. Me and my girlfriend, we went, picked up some fish and chips. We drove down to the lake. I cracked this open. We sat in here, we ate our food, and it was raining out, and it was so relaxing and peaceful. We were right next to the lake. We were watching the waves roll in. So, I mean, like, you can't beat that. You just can't. It's, it's a fun experience. So anyways, I'm gonna sign off. I really don't have much else to say. I just wanted to check in, make a video, um, let you know the progress. It's, uh, it's still in, or in the works. Um, but yeah, I gotta fix that brake. I gotta fix my windshield wiper and I wanna put that sink in. That's her, she's saying that. Yeah. She's saying it to you. Uh, that was my crackhead neighbor, uh, ignorant person. Uh, I was talking for like 10 minutes, but what can you do? She's just because she hates her own life, you know. I didn't say anything to her. I'm not going to get involved, get you nowhere. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd leave it in because it was kind of funny. I was talking away, blah, 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 blah. I was like, what the? But anyways, that's who that was. Maybe uh, we'll see more of her in the future. Who knows? So anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. All right, so one other thing I wanted to mention was my good, good friend, my best friend, bought me this as a gift for the van. And I used it while I was down south in Kitchener. And it is awesome. So this thing, it's called the Jackery. It is a battery box. So you can plug your plug outlets your USB, it's got a few other things, you know. You can charge it by plugging it in with a regular plug. You can charge it by solar panel, or you can charge it by plug plugging it into your cigarette lighter. As you drive, it can charge. But this thing holds a lot of energy and power. So you can charge your phone, you can run a light off this, you can run a laptop for four hours with this thing. Um, and this is one of the smaller models, but, uh, you know, 
it, it comes really in handy, uh, especially for right now. I don't have a generator, you know, this is my only form of power in this van. So, so if there are cheaper options too, like kind of knockoffs, this is the main one. This is the name brand one. It's really good. It's got a solid handle, you know, um, I highly recommend this if you're starting off on your van journey. So I just thought I would show this and, you know, let you know that I got one because it has come in handy big time. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, folks, peace out. <laughs>